Remember that feeling of walking into a candy store as a kid and marveling at all the delicious goodies on display, hoping that your parents would let you take home at least a handful of treats? Well, Boyd's Retro Candy off Phillips Avenue gives you that experience all over again. Except this time, you can buy whatever you want, right? I worked for a candy store and people would come in asking for squirrel nut zippers, which we no longer can get, and other candies that we weren't stocking at the candy store that I was at. And I love candy since I was a kid. Yeah. So that was the inspiration was to open a store where marketing 101, listen to your customers and whatever they ask for, stock it. The kids love it. They'll call it the candy castle. So you, you carry candy from all different eras. Mm -hmm. How far does it go back to? Well, the oldest candy we have is rock candy, which goes back to the Egyptians. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And we learned, you know, for the 80s kid, a retro candy is different than it is for me. Right. And for a 90s kid, retro candy is different too. Yeah. So it's whatever they knew when they were growing up, if we can get it. We do a lot of bulk candy. Yeah. We have a whole section of sour candies. Uh huh. And people just love that. Yeah. And we just have different sections. Of course, Jelly Bellies, that's been a big one from the very beginning. Oh, yeah. All of the novelty candies. Yeah. If something new comes out, like right now, the newest is freeze dried candy. We have a whole board over here full of freeze-dried candy. Just looking around, you know, I'm seeing classic M&Ms in mm -hmm. all types of different colors. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also seeing vintage drinks <laughs> or retro-type oh, yeah, drinks. yeah, the retro-type drinks. That was something I definitely wanted to start right at the beginning was sodas that had cane sugar in them instead oh. of corn syrup in them. Because oh. corn syrup is so bad for you. Right. And cane sugar is much better for you. And my favorite when I was a kid was Frosty. Now we are approaching the Halloween uh -huh. season. Yes, yes. So what new fun items and treats do you guys have so on display now for that? we have a whole shelf of Halloween candy. We've got in some new bug candy that's cricket candy. This is the newest bug candy that we have. So here's some right here. Oh, okay. But you're welcome to open that one too, but. What, so it looks kind of like sunflower seeds. Yeah, but see the cricket? See the long thing? Okay, they're, they're not real crickets cricket though, right? Oh yeah, those are real. With, tycos, with taco spice all over it. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It doesn't even taste like anything because it's just, uh, you know, t you taste all the spices. I thought they were a little dry. Yeah, it tastes like a, dry. yeah, it tastes like a, mm -hmm. yeah, like a yeah, and, little and bit that, of a trail mix. For you to take oh, it. thank you. <laughs> Treats for parties, all types of occasions, right? Mm -hmm. Valentine's Day or right. Easter. Oh, movie nights. In addition to that, it's all that fun. You'll be a kid in the candy store again and have all that fun that you used to have when you were a kid. Only now, you own the budget, so you can buy as much as you want. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm Emily, and this is Toledo Now.